Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and a big warm welcome if you're new here. Um, sorry about my voice, I'm not feeling the best. I've got a little bit of a cold, so if I sound a bit bunged up, um, you know why. Anyway, uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be starting a parenting series, so I'm going to do more videos um, regarding all things parenting. Obviously I'm still going to be doing um, vlogs because I do enjoy doing them and I'm still going to do some fashion and beauty related things because I love it. But at the same time I'm really really passionate about parenting and um, I thought I will start this kind of series off with this first video. So this video is going to be me taking you along to Ikea and showing you what we picked up for Adam. Because basically I want to start doing Montessori at home with Adam. So I'm not going to get into that too much in this video. I'll, if you're interested in learning about Montessori and you want me to do a video separately on that, let me know and I will film that. Um, but I'm just going to be showing you what we've picked up and um, some things that I recommend. If you are intrigued about Montessori and don't know where to start, if you've got a toddler, um, I recommend this book. It's fantastic. The Montessori Toddler by Simone Davies really really good read and if you've got a child younger you can also I think they've got a new version of this book for specifically for babies so I believe it's called the Montessori baby I will try to link both this and the uh, Montessori baby book in the description box in case you are interested um, but yeah it's a really good starting point so without further ado I'm gonna show you the bits that we um, that I would recommend in Ikea and I will show you what we ended up buying for Adam. Guys, so we're in Ikea and I'm going to show you the essentials which I think are important to do um, Montessori at home. Um, so I'm just going to take you through and show you the things that I think would be uh, beneficial and why and we're going to be ending up getting Adam's birthday present today. His birthday is in January but we're going to be shopping for it today so I'm going to show you that as well. So have a look at the kids section, it's so cute. So I'm just going to take you along and show you everything in here. So they've got so many soft toys. Adam is playing over there in the toy market area with Kimo and Luca while I'm showing you guys everything in here. So this is so cool, but um, we don't need any soft toys. We've got plenty. So um, yeah, I'm going to actually show you the really good bits now. Off here, they've got this um, folding gym mat for £25. Now, personally, I don't really like the colours of it. I'm not sure whether they have other colour options, but I think this is fantastic um, for um, brace motor for the kids. So it would be a really good section if you can make somewhere in the room or a playroom if you have one available, um, where you can just let the kids, you know, have an area they can jump around and explore and play on. Uh, so yeah, this is really nice. £25 I think is quite a good price. <clears throat> if you have like a little bedroom for your child or playroom, this would be fantastic for storage, this and this. For like all their arts and crafts areas. I'm not sure how much this costs, but let's have a look. So this one is £38.50, it's quite nice. And then this one up here is £25. Uh, we're currently living with my parents, so until we move out and have our place where Adam will have his own like little section, we're not going to be getting anything like this. But this is really, really nice. On this side, they've got these um, Trofar storage boxes. So you've got the big ones or you've got the little ones. So these you can use for like kind of messy play and all kinds of different plays um, and storage. But also in the table, which I want to get for Adam at one, some point um, where he can do kind of like uh, sensory play. So these are fantastic. I believe the, um, these ones are £1.50 and the big ones are £4.50. And I would get the white ones. They just look better. section is really fun for like arts and crafts. So they've got the drawing paper all for £4. This one here. Um, they've got all kinds of like pens Yeah, the prices are fantastic and these pens are quite good. They're really chunky for toddlers So they're for the whiteboards um, They've got some paints as well. Uh, this is how much I think is it five pound? No, seven pound. So you've got lots of different paints and paint brushes in there uh, watercolors showing all the prices of everything guys. Um, we've got this coloured paper which is very good for craft. Very good for craft project. Some chalks for £1.25. Crayons. Some even 
chunkier crayons, really big chunky first pencils. These are fantastic. I might get him some of these. And I'm not sure what this is. Let's have a look. <coughs> Oh, it's artwork storage for four pound as well, and then they've got modelling dough for five pound, which is really nice as well. This is the table that I was talking about. This is what I want for Adam. It's forty pound, and you've got these two sections which you can open, and I would get him like either little stools or little chairs. I'm not sure yet, um, but these are so good. The stool is fifteen pounds, and this is forty. So um, when you open it, this is where you would put those trays that I was talking about and then you can open it and do messy play and all kinds of fun sensory work in here or you can use it as storage as well. The other table is nice, it's £25. And um, the little chairs, I'm not sure how much these are but I'm guessing they'd probably be around 15 mark as well. Um, but yeah, I prefer the other table, like you can use it for eating and stuff as well but then you can use it for play. It's really, really cute. So that's something I'm going to consider. Looking at these little showrooms and just getting inspiration. Um, I don't know if I showed this earlier on, but this is nice for like s s storing things. I think I showed a different one. This is £20. I think the other one was better. It looked much nicer. But yeah, they're really cool. You can store all kinds of different things. And I just like white in the room. This is the birthday present we want to get for Adam. So the kitchen. He, at the moment, absolutely loves... Um, pretending to cook and this kind of stuff and I think he will enjoy this so much. The kitchen is so cute, £60. It's wooden, which I love. It's got like a little microwave in the top. Um, it's got this little section which is like for the stove. Uh, this bit which I would actually make into a functional area where he can actually, you know, I'd probably get one of those big glass jugs that he can press and the water comes out and he can store his uh, plates and things in here and snacks. To teach him to be a little bit, bit more independent so i think we're going to be getting this today and maybe some accessories to go with the kitchen so i'm really looking forward to that and um, this is a fantastic thing you can i'm sure they've got so many different ones in ikea that you can get i'm not really too keen on this one because of the colors i like everything more plain but um just to show you this is six pound and this is fantastic for them where you can you know teach them to hang their coats and um, things at their level in the rooms um, this little mirror is cute, it could be used for like a self-care area, five pounds. I want to do this kind of shelving for Adam's books. I don't know if this is the one, no, no, this is not the one, this is 12 pounds. I believe the one that I want to get is actually for sp like a spice rack, but I would use it as a bookshelf. And um, two or three of these would be really nice to like hang on the wall. Um, yeah, now we're going to exit this section now. This kind of thing is also fantastic. I think they're called te tepees or, well here it says children's tent, but I would prefer like a white one. But this is really, really nice for the rooms where you can do like a little quiet reading corner. You can put some lights in. Um, I think it's fantastic. So it's something I'll definitely consider doing once we have a room for Adam. And this is so cute. £25 for this like little wooden uh, storage house thingy that you can mount on the wall and that would be fantastic for like pretend like a small world play or um just for storage as well i think it's so so cute i honestly can't wait to have a bedroom for adam and just be able to you know one day have a bedroom for adam hopefully and be able to you know just organize it for him the way that i want three floor beds are recommended so I, that's what i would do for adam at the moment he's got like a little cot bed with that able to be used until the age of four um, but once we are living elsewhere we will see what we're going to do with that this is such a cute toy to get to the children as well um, how much is this it's like a little 12 pound toy cash register so cute and there's really sweet things guys like these little um, knife and forks to teach your little one to eat independently um, or if you know if you feel like this would not be safe for them depending on their age they've got like the plastic ones which are fantastic I don't know how much these are the oh three pounds 75 I just saw the, uh, the price tag but then they've got these which are like 25p for four a pack of four spoons um, then here they've got one pound 25 for this pack of um, 
knives, spoons and forks. I think that's such a good value. They've got lots of these like little cups and things that you can use in the play kitchen if you have like a little area which we're, we're going to get for him. Um, these open cups so they can drink their own drinks. These little plates. Super cute, love the colours. I prefer wooden things but um, these couple of things that I've showed you are really nice. Then they've got like a little toy section, which is cute. So they've got this like um, hammering block bench thing for eight pounds. Then they've got this little abacus, which is super cute. But Adam's got a really nice one from um, I can't remember the brand. I'll show you guys, which my sister Biliana got him. But this one is normally ten pounds, and it's on sale for seven. So it's very cute. You can teach them like colours and um, counting and do all kinds of things with this. I'm thinking about getting Adam one of these benches because he's never had a toy like this. I think he would enjoy it. Um, they also have these, but he's, this is, how much is this? I'm not sure the price of these are already attached. I'm not sure whether they sell these or this is just to play with. But he's got some something little like this. I think he's kind of outgrown it, but it would be nice for like someone younger. And now I'm gonna take you to the potty section. So this is something that I definitely want to get, I might be purchasing today. So I want Adam to become, so he's got a little potty but I want him to be using the toilet seat, obviously with one of these. Um, and I need to get one of these step tools so that he can kind of, so that the bathroom can be more accessible to him. So he can, you know, climb up so he can wash his hands on his own and um, use the toilet on his own. He's still not toilet trained, so this is going to be a little bit of a process, but it's something that I really want to work with him on. And then um, he would also need one of these covers, the toilet seat, I believe is £5. So um, yeah, one of those little steps and a toilet seat. And I want to get like a tap extender, which I don't believe that they have here, but that would be really good for um, him to be able to like reach the water tap and, you know, create less mess around. These are really good um, to protect the corners of like sharp furniture. We've already got some of these on the um, dining table, but these are really cute. So they're four pounds. They've got all different kind of shapes and colors and stuff. So that's quite useful. And these are quite cute if you want to create something nice like in your children's bedrooms um, as a display on the wall storage baskets like these 13 pound for this big one very cute i love wooden things these baskets are really cute as well 13 pound um i want to eventually make a little wardrobe where adam can learn to dress himself not a wardrobe like this but like something to his level using maybe one of the kallax units so if i see one i'll try to show you and uh, just have some hangers that are easy for him to learn how to put on his clothes and off quite a nice alternative to like a floor bed where the mattress is like literally right down to the floor because it's not too high so if you've got a little toddler kind of Adam's age that would be um, something that they would be able to kind of use on their own which is great I'm going to try to take you to that toy section now little books section you've got books for like four or five pounds um, this little Lego set is ten pound for a set of three it's like a little mini uh, Lego box with a lid it's like the one I showed early on which I didn't know the price of so this one up here, the bigger one, is £15 and the slightly smaller one uh, doesn't actually have a price tag but yeah and then they've got some Legos here, oh £12, the slightly smaller one is £12. This is also fantastic, so a set of train tracks, £7 and this is bridge set for the trains which is £6 really really cute we create such cute things and here what we're gonna have a look at what do they have here uh, not really sure anything is of interest they've got also other little kitchen options if you wanted something a little bit um, more affordable the 40 pound one is quite cute and then the other one is 25 but it's quite tiny yes Adam one second and um, they've got a children's tent for eight pounds and um, 
the play tunnel for £10. The play tunnel is fantastic. Again, if you can use the section where you can use the play gym and the play um, tunnel, that would be really, really nice. And here I found like a white uh, tent or tepee, £29. Really, really sweet this one with like a little yellow on the top. I like it a lot. And this is really sweet. Can be used for boys or girls. It's the uh, duct tape uh, little bed for dolls, £13. Yes, Adam, yes. Some cute stacking game, £9. Dolls furniture bedroom, £12. Puzzle, um, £9. Wooden, natural. Chef's hat, three pound, which will be fantastic for the kitchen. Not really keen on the colours or pattern, but it's cute. And um, a three-piece tea play set for six pound. Pencils, which I'm going to get with his kitchen. They're so cute. Three pound only. Fantastic. Um, and then there's lots of these utensils. I don't know where they keep them. I can't find them. They're around, but I can't see like a pack of them, which I really want to get him as well. And then over here, he's got like the little toy basket. Um, it's made of like felt or something, I'm not sure. It's cute, seven pounds and it's filled with like um, the, these like carrots and mushrooms and all kinds of things. So I'm gonna get him that for his play kitchen as well. Um, quite a good price, seven pounds for a huge basket of stuff. So they sell an easel which is around 18 pounds, which I can't find here. I'm not sure if I'm in the wrong, it should be in this section, but maybe not. Um, so I'm gonna, if I find that, I'll try to show you guys as well. And then this is really good, like an apron, four pound, the yellow one, for messy play and arts and crafts and stuff. I really love the way this bed is done. Um, I wouldn't really use these colours maybe, but I love the bed. Underneath I would make like a little section where Adam can play. Up would be his bed, but obviously he's too small for this now. This, one sec Adam, this bed is £129 and it's so cute with like this cover. Here's Adam exploring, having a look. And these were the um, display unit I showed at the beginning. They're really nice. Adam is getting a bit restless and Kimo and um, Luca can't really manage him for some reason. So I can't really show you everything that I want to. Um, but we're gonna go and have coffee now, just a little break and I'm gonna try and feed him. And then we're gonna come back to get the kitchen and little accessories for the kitchen. There's also like little baskets, wicker baskets and things I wanna get for him, for toy rotations. And I wanna show you the Kallax unit. So if I manage to find that, I'll try and show you that. Before we go to find Luca and Kimo for the coffee, I found these. So it's a set of five um, toy cookware set for six pounds and um, Adam is absolutely loving the kitchen so I think he's going to be so happy when he sees that we got, we're getting him this for his birthday but when he opens it on his birthday he's been like looking in all the cupboards and just he doesn't want to move from this section it's so cute guys um, yeah so these are so cute um, I don't know whether they do white ones 75p like if you've got like a little um, I'm thinking of like a little arts and crafts area you can have something like this and then all like the stationery pens and crayons and things like that laid out that would be really really sweet guys one day when we have adam's got his own bedroom um we can have one of the something like this not this one but i would like a wooden one so cute um oh, cool. like little baskets they're for napkins but they can be used for storage two pounds trying to look for a spice rack and i can't see it anywhere and also can't find like the wicker baskets that i'm looking for it's all obviously here it's just the fact that I don't really have the freedom to properly look around with Adam around because he's bored he wants to go so we're just gonna go and buy the kitchen and the little things that we need and hopefully another time I'll be able to do it properly I hope you enjoyed um, seeing the bits that I recommend and now I'm gonna show you what we actually picked up for Adam so we picked up his birthday present which is this Ikea kitchen the duct tape one I can't show it to you now because it's still in the box I don't want to actually open it obviously and I don't want him to he doesn't know what it is when he sees it like this but I don't want him to see it until his actual birthday let me just pop you here sorry about that uh, yeah but I thought this will be a perfect birthday present for him because Adam absolutely loves pretending to cook and um, anything you know cooking related he loves being in the kitchen so I think 
that he's really going to enjoy this. While we were in Ikea, he was playing with this kitchen the whole time. He loved it so much, so I really, really think that it's going to be a hit. Can't wait to see his little face when he wakes up on his birthday and we set it up and stuff. We're not going to keep it in the box. We're going to set it up the night before, and then when he wakes up, we'll like maybe put a ribbon on it or something. When he wakes up, he'll, it'll be ready for him to play with. Um, so we got him that, and then we got a couple of bits to go with it. Uh, which I'm going to show you now. I hope you're not wonky on here. Let me try and adjust this. Oh, I think that's okay. Um, so we got a couple of other bits to go with it. So there was something that I wanted to get, which is the pots and pans set. I believe it's like around six pounds. The kitchen is sixty pounds for anyone interested. Everything that I show here, I'm going to link um, in the description box for you, in case you are interested. You want to get it someone as a gift for your own little one um, so it's just easy to, to find the exact same products um, yeah I wanted to get the little pots and pans but they were out of stock unfortunately so um, we still need to get something like that and I still need to get him like some wooden pretend um, food and also maybe some felt uh, felt food and I want to get him a little apron and some little bits and bobs to go with the kitchen um, we did pick up a few things which I'm going to show you now. In Montessori, you're supposed to actually use the correct objects. For example, a plate would actually be a proper plate. A, um, a glass that he drinks from would be actual glass, um, not plastic or anything else. But for the beginning, because I'm just starting this out with Adam, um, I have decided to opt for um, more plastic because I'm just like not really confident to let him use like glass right now like I will I will do but um, I want him to get used to using this first and then once I feel a bit more confident we'll switch to glass um, a couple of days ago actually I started giving him an actual glass um, cup to start drinking from and he's done really really well with it but um, yeah he's still not really how do you say it? he still doesn't know like that it's fragile and I'm scared that he's gonna break it so I need to be like constantly watching him this kitchen, I'm going to make it functional, so he's going to have like a section where he actually has real snacks in there. And I want to kind of build something, some kind of system where he can actually grab water for himself um, whenever he's thirsty and he can access his snacks if he's hungry, this kind of thing. But then at the same time, it's still going to be like a play kitchen as well, so it's going to be both. So I thought this will be good because he can use it for actual food and then he can also use it for pretend play. Um, so I decided to go for these. I thought they were really cute. It's under two pounds. I can't remember exactly how much, but and um, there's five plates inside, and they're so cute. Like I love the pastel colours. So got him this. Got him some little bowls to go along with it. Same colour, and then we also got him the uh, knives, forks, and spoons. So that's really good as well. Um, glass, I like cups I haven't got yet. I'm probably going to go for glass, like small glass cups. Um, and then once once he learns how to take care of that, we'll probably switch up the plates to some actual plates as well. Um, but yeah, we got that. And then we got something else for the kitchen as well. We've got this um, little set that he can hang on his kitchen. So it's really cute. There's like a little, like so many little bits in here so we're going to pop that up as well and um yeah i've got to get a few more bits but pretty much we've got like the main things and i can't wait i really can't wait to set this up for him um other than that we got him something for potty training so adam has a little potty downstairs and before we went on holidays and before i started working full time he had really got good at it like i was every more because i knew roughly the time that he goes to the toilet I would, you know, sit him on the potty, read to him, and he would go, like, he went three, four times in a row, um, and then I started working, we fell out of the routine, we went on holiday, and things just, like, went downhill from there, um, but, and also it's winter time now, so it's not really, like, the ideal time to be potty training, because it's just easier in the summer, you know, you've got less layers on, and um, it's not as cold, and this kind of stuff. But he's got his potty, which I'm going to keep downstairs, and then I decided to get him this because I want him to actually be able to use the toilet I want to make the, the bathroom accessible to him now the the whole point of everything that I want to do I can't really do here because we're still living with my parents and it's not my place to switch things up and you know I can't do everything that I want to um but I'm going to try and make it as accessible for him and to 
um, provide things for him so that he can be as independent as possible. So I thought this will be really good because he can actually use the proper toilet seat. This was around five pounds, I think. So I got that and then I got the stool step as well, which he can move around. Um, this was five pounds as well. So if he needs to, you know, use the toilet, he can put this underneath and climb up and then sit on the, this kind of um, seat. Or if he needs to wash his hands, he can move it over to the sink, stand on it, and then he will have access to the tap. Um, there's a few other bits that I want to get for the bathroom. So for example, I would like to get him a tap extender so that like the um, once he lifts the tap, it's easier for him to wash his hands. It's like closer to him. And also I'm thinking about getting one of those electric soap dispensers will just make it easier for him especially in the beginning while he's learning um, the towel is at his level once he would stand on the stool so that's perfect he can just um, dry his hands there uh, but once we hopefully move out in the future I don't know when that will be but hopefully um, soon then he can you know if we have a place where we're staying by ourselves I would like to make like a little self-care station for him so there I would put like a mirror to his height and like little things that he, like his essential hygiene things like his toothbrush, his hairbrush, you know, tissues, this kind of stuff that's accessible and he can reach at any time when he needs it. Um, but that I'm probably not going to be able to do here. Um, but I'll try and make it as, you know, I'll try to make everything as accessible to him as I possibly can. Um, so those are all the bits that we picked up. There's so many lovely, lovely, lovely things in Ikea that I still want to get for him, but obviously can't get everything at once. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And if you would like me to do more of this style of video, let me know in the comment section below. If you want me to do a Montessori um, video telling you, you know, what, what is it, how we're going to implement it at home, and what we're going to take from it, what we're not going to, let me know because I'd love to do that. Um, and yeah, just any feedback that you have, please leave down in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel with anyone you think might, might enjoy it, might find it beneficial. And um, yeah, thank you so much guys.